Matthew 9, verses 1 through 7. You can only be forgiven by a holy God, the creator of heaven and earth. In these verses, Jesus returned to Capernaum and forgave a paralyzed man his sins. And everyone asked, who is he to forgive sins? But also to demonstrate his authority, he healed the man. This event highlighted Jesus' authority and power to forgive sins. So why not give your life to Jesus? Why not repent and believe in him? Matthew 9, verses 9 through 13. These verses highlight calling Matthew as a disciple. He also dined with the tax collectors and sinners, emphasized his mission to save the lost. In response to the Pharisees' criticism, Jesus emphasized mercy and sacrifice because that is what God desires, mercy and sacrifice. Matthew 9, verses 14 through 16. John's disciples questioned Jesus about fasting. Jesus used metaphors such as bridegroom, new cloth, and new wine to explain the newness of his mission and message. Matthew 9, verses 18 through 26. Jesus healed a woman who had been bleeding for years who touched his cloak in faith. He also restored Jairus' daughter, demonstrating power over disease and death. Matthew 9, 27 through 34. Two blind men and a mute demon-possessed man received healing through faith. Jesus revealed his authority over physical ailments and spiritual forces. Matthew 9, verses 35 through 38. Jesus taught and healed throughout the cities, expressing compassion for the crowds. He likened them to sheep without a shepherd. Jesus called his disciples to pray for more laborers for the spiritual harvest. How about is Jesus calling you to do his will, his ministry, and to care for the lost and the sick. He is ultimately calling you to believe in him, trust him, and to do his will and commands. Have a great work day.